Howdy folks, this is B. Junior from B. Junior's Movie Cave on the Endurance Productions YouTube channel. Among science fiction, comedy, action, horror movies are probably pound for pound my favorite genre of film, mainly because they have they have the best rewatchability, they have probably the best uh, conversation pieces on the shelf to talk about, and they come up in every conversation when I get down to talk about movies usually, uh, that or science fiction films for that matter. The basis of today's video is kind of a uh, blog style video. I pulled out five selections off the DVD shelf back there on the horror movie collection that I wanted to talk about in terms of Blu-ray releases. These five that I pulled out do not have a Blu-ray release yet as of today's date below um, and it's a shame and I pulled these out to talk about because not only would these be good additions to a Blu-ray collection you know overall uh, basically they these five selections I feel in my opinion would lend themselves to the high definition format in terms of look of the picture and sound so that was the criteria that I pulled these off in and more importantly I, I love to talk about movies in general anyway so it's a good outlet for me to talk about these five selections these are five that I really love and ch have cherished over the years and watched many times not only at Halloween but throughout the year as well uh, a couple of these may have some overseas releases, but we're t what I'm talking about today is good old homegrown, of fat, you know, old-fashioned American Region 1 Blu-ray releases. That's what I'm talking about today. Uh, basically, the first one on the list I'm going to talk about is Suspiria. This is the Blue Underground 2-disc version, which in my opinion is probably one of the best versions you can get right now among the 3-disc uh, the that's out there too from Anchor Bay. Um, sadly, I think Blue Underground lost the rights to this film at some point, and they do have an Overseas Region 2 Blu-ray that came out some, uh, some time ago, but uh, they don't have a Region 1 Blu-ray to my knowledge as of right now. It's probably on, the, probably on the drawing board, but to my knowledge it's not out yet, and it's a shame, because and if you don't know about Suspiria, I'm sorry, you need to shut this video off and go watch it. Shame on you. It's one of Dario Argento's, in my opinion, top three films. And the sheer look and sound and music in this film would really rock the house as far as a Blu-ray release. And it's a shame that it's not out yet on Blu-ray. Anyway, that's my first one, Suspiria by Dario Argento. Highly, highly color-induced film and sound and everything. Another highly atmospheric uh, horror movie, good old-fashioned ghost story by John Carpenter, is, of course, The Fog. Not the remake, but John Carpenter's The Fog. This does have a thing, I think a uh, a Region Two HD DVD release. That's I think it's a French HD DVD release that came out in the la in the latter days of HD DVD before it shut down. So you can find this in high def right now. And I, I'm thinking there may be a Blu-ray in Region Two of this, but I'm not sure. Don't quote me on that. But I have seen the HD DVD foreign release. But the cool thing about HD DVDs was and is. They're all region free. I mean, from what I understand, though, you can buy one of those over there and it won't be region locked. You can play it on your uh, region one player, Blu-ray player, or excuse me, HD DVD player. Um, anyway, John Carpenter's The Fog, you know, hey, if you've watched horror movies for years, you're going to know what this one's about. The The fog itself, the ghosts in the film, the, uh, you know, all these guys right there. The parts in the lighthouse, all the I dream of seeing that in H, in, in a high def format, and also the sounds in the movie, um, I think would really pop uh, right out of the speakers from the uh, John Carpenter score in the movie. Everything would really lend itself to a high def format. I'm probably not telling you guys anything you don't already know, or have or have not been pining for for years for some of these selections, but uh, that was my number two uh, pick there. This one's kind of my uh, oddball one in the group, but to this day, and I'll stand by my decision on this, why this one doesn't at least have a better DVD release is beyond me, but I would say a, a Blu-ray of this one would be awesome. It's a low-budget 80s, 80s horror movie filmed in North Carolina mostly called Trick or Treat, uh, starring Mark Price and, of course, some appearances by Gene Simmons and Ozzy Osbourne. This is the crappy DVD release that we've had for many years. It's basically a full-screen laser disc port is all it is uh, from Platinum Disc Corporation, I think it is. But uh, it's just a good little 80s horror movie. There's a lot of uh, animated lightning effects from the uh, Sammy Kerr character in the movie that would lend itself to high def really cool. 
Plus, there's a lot of 80s rock tunes that were uh, uh, created for the film as well. And I think that would really pop out of the speaker as well. And it would just be a good, fun one to watch around Halloween. And I, I, I live for the day this one would be released on Blu-ray. Except I can see The Fog probably coming out one day or Suspiria. And probably these other two I'm going to talk about. Sadly, Trick or Treat, I think the only thing we can hope for, guys, is maybe a, a bare-bone uh, widescreen DVD of this one day. I like to stay positive about these things, but Trick or Treat being a little-known film, and it really didn't set the world on fire. Sadly, I think this is probably one of the best releases we're, or you know DVD we're ever going to get of it. I don't think there's going to be a Blu-ray anytime soon on this one. But we can dream, and that's what we're here to do. Dream it, people. Dream it. That's right. Okay, number four on the list today of Blu-ray hopefuls in my horror movie collection, and I'm sure this one will probably be in your list too, or a lot of people's lists. It is, of course, Reanimator. And I hear tell this one might be coming out soon. I think there is a Blu-ray plan for this one, but I don't think it's out yet. This is the the Elite Entertainment Millennium Edition, two-disc or the big fat boxed one. But uh, until then, this is probably the best one you can get uh, in terms of a special edition all the all the trimmings release that you want for reanimator the sheer look of the film the uh reanimator serum the zombies uh, or the reanimate corpses whatever you want to call them in the movie special effects all that stuff that the sheer atmosphere the creepy uh just nasty special you know the, the gory special effects in the movie would really lend itself to high def and as well it's got that uh, psycho ripoff uh music score that I would I think would be really cool as well. This one, there again, like Trick or Treat, would just be a good, fun event film. If you got a lot of people together that had never seen it, and you wanted just something off the wall to watch at Halloween or something, Reanimator would be cool on Blu-ray. It would not disappoint. I like to think so anyway. Probably the granddaddy of them all that comes up in everybody's list, and why this one is not on Blu-ray yet, I only have two words as a reason. Don Carscarelli. For whatever reason, he holds the rights to this film. It is, of course, Phantasm. This is my old MGM disc. I have the Anchor Bay one up on the wall over there, but uh, just for visual aid uh, help there. Uh, Phantasm, of course, uh, at least the first one, or the first two, would really lend themselves to Blu-ray format. The only reason I can give and the only reason I personally can think of is Don Carscarelli holds the rights to this, and there's no money in it for him right now because there's not another Phantasm movie coming out nor a remake on the books as far as I know anyway. But uh, the only thing we can do is you know get your hands on a special edition MGM. Please note, this is widescreen, but it's not anamorphic. Get the Anchor Bay one if you can. It's got about the same special features on it. There are some differences between the special features of the discs between the two, but both of them have a good surround sound mix. I can say that. The Anchor Bay is anamorphic widescreen. Probably the one you want to get. It's got the original cover art on it as well. But more to the point, the sheer atmosphere, the look of this film, all the the little crazy dwarf critters, the look of the mausoleum, the white mo uh, marble walls of the mausole mausoleum, the uh, the flying sphere effects, the uh, dwarf planet effects in this movie, the red planet or whatever you want to call it, all that. This is probably the one I'm pining for the most to come out on Blu-ray is Phantasm mainly because it would lend itself more so than any other horror release that's out there now that's waiting in uh, Blu-ray Blu -ray release Hades, I'll just call it that. Um, Phantasm would not disappoint in terms of sound, in terms of atmosphere, in terms of look, everything. So, Don Carcarelli or whoever or whatever is holding this one up, Anchor Bay rights, whoever's got the rights to it now, need to get off their tail end and get this one out to the masses. Let us buy it. Because we would soon. So, anyway, guys, that has been my top five. So, I'm going to turn it over to you guys now. I want to see you guys do a video response and or a comment below. Tell me what you guys think and show me your top five or ten or whatever you want to do. Uh, releases that need a Blu-ray release uh, from DVD. Or they could be uh, ones that are in VHS only or Laserdisc only. You know, some, whatever you feel like doing, that's fine. There's no set criteria. Mine today was, of course, Suspiria, John Carpenter's The Fog, Trick or Treat from the 80s, Reanimator, and of course, the granddaddy of them all, Phantasm, probably the one that's most sought by myself. 
Let me hear from you guys. Rock on, dudes, and I'll catch you next time. Bye.